How many times have you gotten in right here just to see that it is actually a major fake out? Don't worry because in this video, I want to show you a simple breakout trading strategy that will allow you to profit from these huge movements. Firstly, what is a breakout? A breakout is basically when price breaks through a key support or resistance level which usually leads to huge price movements. So in this example, you can see that price is actually consolidating so we can place a resistance level above right here and place a support level below right here because price rejected it multiple times. As soon as price break out of the key level, the market start trending and heading back down. So you could have easily entered for a sell position somewhere right around here. Now the question is, how do we find setups like this where the market actually breaks out? A lot of people will ask you to look out for breakout patterns like wedge, penance, triangles. Ugh, shut up bro. To be honest, like these drawings you see online look nothing like the actual charts. Look at this example right here. You can see that this is actually a pattern chart pattern and this is what it looks like in drawing, in textbook, right? But if you place it on the charts, it looks nothing like that, bro. Like, look at this. This is an ugly ass pattern. Look, the truth is I have never memorized a single breakout pattern and I still became profitable because you must understand that all of these breakout patterns, they are based on the concept that price will break out after it consolidates. So instead of memorizing freaking breakout patterns, here's what you can do instead. When price is consolidating, draw key levers. So you can see like all these lower highs, you can just connect these with a trend line. And then what you want to do is to trade the breakout. Now, the next question you might have is that will the breakout happen to the upside or to the downside? So traders, they will often make this mistake when they see that price break out of the key level just like this, they immediately get into the trade just to realize that this is actually a freaking fake out. So you just end up losing a whole lot of money. This is the wrong mindset to have because when price break out, it does not equal to a trend. Because to be honest with you, 80% of the time when price actually break out, it's actually a false breakout. So how do we actually prevent these nasty false breakouts? You need to look for momentum candles at the breakout. So a momentum candle can be in the form of a big fat candle or multiple medium-sized candles. Right here, we can see that price is actually forming lower highs, which means that we can draw like a downward trend line above here and place a key level at the support area right here, this key support level. To be honest, I don't even know what breakout pattern this is. Next, we saw that a big green candle just broke out of the upper trend line. So now, three things can happen. So the first scenario is that price can continue to go up even higher. And the second scenario is that price can make a pullback and retest the trend line before going up even higher. And the last scenario is that price can reverse and head back down and this will count as a false breakout. So what should we do right now? Do we buy here or do we wait for price to retest before entering for a buy position? So instead of trying to predict what will happen next, what I will do is to enter for a buy position at the momentum candle close right here and set my stop loss slightly below the upper trend line. By doing this, I will still benefit from every scenario. If price goes up even higher, I make money. If price retests and go up, my stop loss will not get hit and I still make money. However, if it's a false breakout, my stop loss will get hit and this will prevent me from losing more money. Now, where do you place your take profit? You must remember that when price break out, price tend to go up even higher. So there is a lot of upsides. So if you just place your take profit at two times your stop loss, you are limiting the amount of money that you can potentially make. So what I will personally do is that I will take partial profits when price reaches 1 is to 3. Right here, right here, I will have closed like half of the trade. And then after I close half, I will move my stop loss into break even and also let like the remaining of the trade run. Until the moving average cross over right here, then I will get out of 
the trade so at this point of time i will have closed all of my trades by doing this you are able to benefit when the price make a huge movement because half of your positions are still open but if you have closed all your positions at the first profit target you will have missed all this upside potential so in this example you can see that price went up without retesting the trend line which is why i prefer to enter right away because most breakouts actually happen without a pullback so if you are constantly waiting for a pullback to happen before entering you will probably miss out on a lot of profits here's another example you can see that right now price is consolidating and it's also creating lower highs so i can connect like a little upper trend line right here and i can also draw my key support level right here so you can see at this point of time price actually broke out of the upper trend line right but you can see after it broke out it did not give like a momentum candle the next candle is actually like a red candle which show us that price is rejecting this upper trend line and this is actually a false breakout so in this case you should not have entered right here next we can see that a red candle actually broke below the key level but right again it is still too small for us to consider it as a momentum candle so we continue waiting next you can finally see that there is multiple red candles that form after that which show us that this is a momentum candle because remember a momentum candle can either be a big fat candle or multiple medium-sized candles and this is what is showing us right now multiple red medium-sized candles so you could have entered for a sell position right here and place your stop loss above this key support level so for your first take profit you can place it at one is to three risk to reward ratio right here so for my second take profit what i will do is to place my exponential moving averages and then i will hold the remaining of the trade until the moving average cross over which is right here this is when the moving average starts crossing over so at this point of time this will be my second take profit level yep so basically i will have closed the first half of my position right here when price reaches the one is to three risk to reward ratio and then i will close the other half of the position right here when the moving average actually starts crossing back over if you found this video helpful make sure you scroll down right now and smash the like button and also hit on that subscribe button and if you are curious about how i use this red and blue moving averages to trade and get my sniper entries you can check out this video right here remember you're just one trade away mm -hmm.